keep going. Hey, Bill got his evil. Hey, look at that. Bleh. Anyway, uh, close. You must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze and my breath caught in the, my throat as I thought about that. I could feel a paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. The air hung heavy on me, pressed it down like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had just to endure that weight. Oh, I can't wait! <laughs> Only I laugh at my stupid puns. You know, that's okay. But for as heavy as the air felt, all of it took to pierce under sharp words. And? So, what are you gonna do now? Hey. Just stand around glaring at each other? Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull us back in reality. Right! She's right! Listen to me! Sometimes, even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward! <laughs> to forget each simple fact and can't forgive myself! I'm so ashamed! You hear me? Please! Everyone! Someone hit me! I can't forgive myself! Somebody hit me! Punish me! Huh? Jesus, if you had to time to yell about it, you have time to do something about it. However... Perhaps, but... What is the mission exactly? Stupid idiot! To look forward or way out, duh! What the? And you totally need to find whoever was controlling that stupid beer, beat the beer, beer, and beat the hell out of them. But, but, but we ought to do that. Maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It's probably the best to check out the school regulations, Monokuma mentioned before or anything else. This is fine. True. If we stumble around with no clue of what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Shit. Alright, so then... Fine! Then let's hurry up and check out the stupid rules already. Cut it off. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> After turning on my e-handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name. So it's like Matakuma said, the Aura's name showed up front and center. Then in front of, from the main menu popped up, I selected the school relations icon. And that... An itemized list appeared on the screen. It was school regulations. In other words, the rules must be being imposed on us all. Those may reside only within the school. Leaving campus is an acceptable use of time. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than a dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. Wow. The moral restrictions, you are free to explore the host academy in your discretion. Violence right, against Headmaster Matakuma is strictly prohibited as a distraction of surveillance cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student becomes black and will graduate unless they are discovered. And number seven, additional school regulations may be added as necessary. It's not a rule, that's more just a statement. Feel as a slight dizziness, I raised my face up to the screen. As I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's faces. Stop fucking around! This is bullshit! What the hell kind of rules are these? I'm not gonna let them control me! <laughs> well then, why don't you find out about the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. However... But if he got punished like we saw before, I don't think that'd be a respawn really way for him. Uh, uh, Yo. I... Ever since I was a kid, I grew up with the oldest pounding things in my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it. Even if it kills him. And... So what? What? I made tons of promises I still have to keep, so that's what! Piece of shit! So I can't afford to die in here! None of that makes sense to me, but you were saying your your real full of regulations, that it? That's true. Uh uh, well, yeah, I guess you're right. Um hey, um, I have a question. For regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? Yeah, the rule about being black. We talk about the second half, right? 
where it says, unless the earth discovered. I was wondering about that myself. Hmm. It's saying that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. But why? Why do we have to do that? Hmm. I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about them following the rules as they have been explained to us. Such ignorance. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits on others to decide what to do. <laughs> don't jab at me. Give me a break. Not like a full-on stab. Mm, well, for now, let's forget all this silly junk about murders or whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, let's explore in the school. Mm. True. We need to find out what exactly we are. Is there no way to out? What about food? Supplies? You understand? There are tons of questions we need to answer! Let's do it! Damn straight! Okay, let's start looking around! Hmm. I'll be going alone. What? What? Why? It's pretty a stupid idea, don't you think? Hmm. Someone here might be always starting thinking about murdering one of us. Are you saying that we should stand around for them in our midst and make it much easier for them? Uh, hold on a second! Oh, wait a second, that would never- What? Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. That's why you all seized up in fear when that graduation rule was clear to you. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, um... But, but... Hmm. So, so I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. Just hold on. Hold on. Like, Kel, I'm gonna let you run off and do what the hell you want. What? Out of my way, Plankton. What? What? The fuck do you supposed to mean, Gramps? <laughs> Such ignorance. One tiny bit of plate drifting across the sea. So minuscule, so insignificant. It couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the bottomless ocean. You're fucking dead. I'm gonna kick your ass, Gramps. <laughs> Stop it! You shouldn't fight. What? The fight you just say? You gotta got a goody good little bitch? You wanna throw <laughs> down? Who do you think you are? Talking to me like that? You're gonna be my fucking dad or something? No, I wasn't. You son of a bitch. Fuck you! He punched me. I flew back in the heat. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right there in my face. Once like I was standing there and the next I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, I might be kind of forgotten. The kind of people I've been trapped here with. My common sense has just stopped functioning. Being around these ultimates have blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something as absurd as this. But it's just... I lost track of the sense of reality. I lost the last thought of my consciousness started to fade. Before I finally cut completely. And when I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... <laughs> Huh? Where am I? Except for a bad part of my daily routine, I woke up in another room I'd never seen before. Okay, so, uh, where am I now? I don't care. I never used the handbook. Some kind of lint roller. I guess we're supposed to clean up our after ourselves? This must be the key to the room. My name's from another keychain. This space supposed to be mine, right? I hang on to it for now. Yeah, no duh. It's my name. This would appear to be the bathroom. Huh? It's an opening. I guess it's locked. Ooh, the music. I never heard it beyond this. There's a piece of paper hanging on the wall which says Announcement from the Headmaster Matakuma. Each room's lock is designed to completely protect against tampering and lock picking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so make sure you not to lose yours. Your room, your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at nighttime. Also, the bathrooms in the girls' rooms are included in the lock of their own. Finally, I prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit, and for the boys, a tool kit. The sewing kit includes the med map of the map body's vital organs, wet stab, will do the job, girls. My god. For the boys, we'll believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be ex should be ample. Don't think, just feel. And let's enjoy ourselves. I crumpled up the sheet of paper threw it in the trash. That's fair, I would do the same. There doesn't seem to be anything particularly strange about the bed, the fact that it looks like cardboard. It's a notepad. 
I guess the skull must have given one to me for us. It looks like there's something in the drawer. It's a token. It must be brand new. It's still, still in the sink wrap. I don't really need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. What else do I need to look at? I guess. What is this? Some kind of monitor. No, some of the rooms are locked, huh? I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be sleeping anywhere other than the dorm dormitory. Will be. It's, it's a weird space in there. Will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. This is in my side dorm room, so it must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. So that answers the question. The next question is. What is everyone else up to right now? There's only one way to find out. And that's to get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I rushed out of the bathroom to meet all of the others. But there was someone waiting for me there. It's like s something out of an old TV show. Ah! Yeah, it's Sayaka, isn't it? Yep, there she is. Hello. Oh! Sayaka? Sorry. Are you okay? I, I'm fine. I hope you're okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. There's no space in it. Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? <laughs> Make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I actually built some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. That's good then. Um... But are you okay? You know, from when Mondo hit you? That's true. I got knocked out right, right there in front of everyone. Guess I revealed my lack of cool right from the beginning. Makoto. Makoto? Oh, yeah, I am fine. Nothing wrong here. That's good. Oh, that's good. I was kind of worried. Thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Uh, um... Actually, I came to get you. you came to get me? Um, well, listen. Well, if you're really feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. Dining hall? You see? After you got back now, everybody decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. So we agreed together and later on and we talked about what we each find out. So I mean, it's almost time to get back together. That's what's going on. That's what we awesome want with you. That's good. Yeah. Good. I'll go ahead and meet you in your dining hall then. That looks like some nameplate. The doors themselves are pretty much all the same. It's so weird to see this without head bobbing. This is the boys' bathroom. I have to make sure to remember it's here. Nothing else really important is out here, so there's no point. Let's just go. Must be the dormitory dining hall. Looked pretty clean, so that's good. Uh, I guess it's not really important right now, with all us being presents here and all. Yeah, that's true. The money was there, they're waiting for us. We don't have much of a choice. I guess we should just wait for it now. <laughs> okay, let's just wait here. Huh? You're then? Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. Is it really just intuition? Kind of sun, I know. But here comes the tutorial right now. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up. I know what I'm doing. Hey, um. By the way, Makoto. Huh? What is it? Um. Well, it's just. I know it's some kind of continuing deduction thing, but I wanted to. <laughs> continuing our self deduction? Uh, um. We kind of got cut off before, but I had a question I wanted to ask you. Saki so wants to ask me something? It is. I'm not really curious. Hey, um, um. What do you want to ask me? Hmm. Mikado, do you happen to go to the Blackwood Junior High? Maybe in class two? Yeah, actually, I was. Ah. I knew it. I went there too. I was in class four, though. Do you remember me? Why? Remember? 
back in middle school, she was a lesbian. She was a lesbian. <laughs> she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising the question was, that she remembered me. We never even talked to each other, but somehow she knew who I was. Hey, um... Hey, are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm just surprised is all. One, I thought you remembered me. <laughs> we went to the same school for three years, of course I remember. Well, that's true. There were a lot of students in our grade, right? Plus, I've never been the type to ever really stand out. I'm average in everything. All my hobbies were totally normal. Even normal would call me boring. Aww. What are you talking about? You're so strange. So strange? That's... <laughs> she started giggling the louder. That's how a mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. Her smile was the nicest smile I've ever seen. That's good. Anyway, I'm really glad that I have I know somebody here. <sighs> Talking to you makes me feel a lot better about all this. You're amazing, Makoto. No, I'm really not. Not at all compared to you guys, to your ultimates. <laughs> but you're the one that helped me find courage again. It's not all those ultimate students. Hmm. That, that, that feels a bit odd to say. Uh, thank you for saying that. Okay! And to thank you for helping me out, I'm gonna become the ultimate assistant! Ma? My assistant? <laughs> <laughs> Ma? <laughs> yep, I'm your assistant now. I'm gonna help you out as much as I can, so let's get out of here together. What she says like that, seems like that is. It just makes, gets me pumped up. Which is nice, but still, everyone else is still late. Besides that, I don't even know what time it is right now. There must be a clock around here somewhere. Um, so, what time is it right now? Is that 7 o'clock at night? Uh, um... You were unconscious for a pretty long time. I see. Without being able to look at the window, I've lost all sorts of time. What I have to say is in places for too long, I might just go crazy. Hey, um... I can't believe no one's here yet. But I'm sure they'll start up to start showing up soon. As if, almost like he timed it. Taka threw open the door down the hall right as Sayaka said that. Hey, hey, Makoto, Sayaka. So you two got here first, huh? How unfortunate. Too bad. I was sure I'd be everyone here. <laughs> I guess that means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. Got it. Well, I won't give up. Next time, I swear I will. I win no matter what it takes. Justice will, shall always prevail. <laughs> it's a bit much, don't you think? A little bit. And soon after that, everyone else came strolling one after another. After a few minutes, everyone's gotten into Dino Hall. Okay, it looks like everyone's here. Time to start the meeting. Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. Hold on a sec. What are you talking about? What's wrong? Hmm. What about a... Uh, what's her name? You know, the silver-haired girl. <gasps> oh, yeah, Kayoko. Hmm. What about her? Aww. She's not here. <gasps> what? I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. Um... I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? Everyone just shook their heads. Huh? Wait, so nobody's seen her? Why has Akiyoko showed up yet? Could it be because... Yes, indeed! Stabby, struggling, budgeting, bludgeoning, questioning, hacking, drowning, igniting... How you do it doesn't matter! You must kill something you want to leave! And as simple as that! <laughs> the rest is up to you! So given all you achieve your best outcome in the worst way possible! Is it possible? Is she really? No, 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 I'm just overthinking things. Darn it, Kayoko! You're really going to be late in the first day of school? Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone she'd be late. The most unbecoming personality trait. Come on. I'm being a real jackass right now, you know that? <sighs> well, what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. You hear me? Now then, I declare the first session of the Home Street Academy brief meeting has begun. Um... Makoto, actually, first of all, I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Okay, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> you know. Huh? What's up? <laughs> I feel like I may have become your personal assistant. Don't you agree? 
That's weird. <laughs> like, it's weird. Isn't it? person that you kind of recognize, like, I'm your assistant now. <laughs> I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I've got. No, you've already done so much as an assistant. No, you haven't. You just spoke. Uh, let's start. Oh. I only... Okay, so you're in the dark about this, let's li let me lay out what's been going on here. I've always split up the investigation parts in the building, but you see, Bayaka and Taka were the ones on their own. <laughs> so did Kyoka. I wanted to try to find some clue who was responsible for imprisoning us here. Well, unfortunately, I made, me I made no such discoveries. Uh, that's all from me. <clears throat> really? That's it? <laughs> well, if I did uncovered anything, naturally I have more to say, but I didn't. So I don't. Uh, right, understood. Um. How much for that investigation, by You see. But I can attack him with the ones we're on the run. I spent some time looking around the dormitory. And Listen to me! That I may discover the century! I found exactly the one room for each person! Uh, well, yeah, I figured that before anything else. Yeah. Each door has already a nameplate on it, so I guess the. All the rooms have been decided already. Huh. And each room key is attached to the keychain with the owner's name. This is an etch to it. Which confirms that the room I was in earlier is in fact my room. Really? Wow. And plus. It's your hero when I find out all the rooms are totally soundproof. Um. Your next door neighbor can scream when the lungs out. You wouldn't hear a thing. <laughs> well, each room has to have a private bathroom, which could also lock. It also looked like there were locks on the bathroom in the girls' drones. Huh? When well, I took my bathroom book before, it was definitely simply was locked. That's weird, I should probably double check that later. Hey, come on! Hey! Okay, so we got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're gonna be here for a while. Quiet down and listen! Uh oh. Uh oh. Hang on. Oh. Let's <laughs> hold on, guys. My, uh, my computer went back for a moment. That was my fault. That was totally my fault there. Well, better have, better have than not. At least we don't have to worry about surviving like wild animals. <sighs> that can only be your only report, can it, Mr. Honest uh, Student? Got it! That's all for one report. Let's move on to whoever's next. Um, <laughs> you see. So it looks like Leon, Hero, Chuck, and G Hero all grew up together. <laughs> well, we want up to down to school. Double checking the windows, all the hallways and classes. We wanted to see if any of these metal plates would come off. What happened was hmm. nothing. None of the damn thing. We couldn't even get a single one to budge, even a little bit. What should I do? There wasn't even any hope of escape anywhere. The school really has been cut off. This is bad. This sucks. Bad, 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 bad. Sucks, this sucks, 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 sucks. What the hell are we gonna do? Hey, come on. God damn, calm down. You started to make me nervous. Um, you see? Hey, 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 why'd you say what twice? I wouldn't budge. I'd be hit with desks and chairs and nothing. Hard like metal. Yes, indeed. Well, yes, it's easy to metal. Oh, anyway, this sucks. we're gonna get out of here. It's not gonna be through there. Oh. I feel like I could just cry, but no. I have to hold it in. I have to manage my hydration. So then... I shall tell you what happened next. It has nothing to do with commu communicating with the outside world, but still worth 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 worrying about. In both the school dorm areas, there are a set of stairs leading up to another floor. But... There are gates there, and we didn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check it out. Hmm. In other words, at this point, we're only able to search the first floor. However... We can further assume that there's a potentially something above the second floor as well. That's the case. The case? The case. The case. There's at least a chance it might lead a way out. Uh, you see? 
Let's see. If I'm being honest, I'm not quite sure if we've acted as one. But if we did nothing as one, we spent the entire time in the gym. Most unfortunate. I don't say we're not exactly the type to go running around in school like a gaggle of junior detectives. What the hell's wrong with you? What the hell are you thinking just sitting around the gym the whole time? <clears throat> well, it's not like any of you were inviting me alone. Nobody said, hey, come with us. I blame you for leaving me out. It's your fault. What the? If you want to try to go for someone, you just said something. <laughs> Forget it. It's not like I wanted to go in here with a dirty slut like you. Jesus. Huh? Slut? <laughs> your mind is as thin as your body. You can make you make my sick stomach. Are you for real? I don't even know what to react. How can you say something so awful to someone you just met? Hey, come on. Right, hey, guys, just, everybody just calm down, okay? All the stress is bad for your skin, you know? Uh. Yeah, it sounds like you two are so close that you're fighting like sisters. I don't think that's what I want to say, Aka. Hey, um... That's what you said to say, huh? That I guess I'm the only one left. Really? I have to do this even though you're the only one um... left? I went around the... Working on the dining hall. I found a fridge in the back of the kitchen. And I'm sober flowing with all kinds of stuff. That's good. I guess we don't have to worry about food at least. What? Sure, for now, but with all that, why are there 15 of us? How long can the food last? <laughs> if you see sesame seeds or something. Hmm? What? What am I, a parakeet? <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about it. All the food is restocked automatically each day. Um. At least that's what Monokuma said. Huh? You saw him? Okay. Yeah, he came out of nowhere when I was checking in the fridge told me that and then disappeared again. It was so fast I couldn't believe someone I'm moving around him with, with a remote control. That's... A weaponized toy that can appear out of nowhere. I can't tell if I'm supposed to be afraid or not. But... But was everything, was everything okay? He didn't try to like eat you or anything? Huh? Eat her? Um, what, what do you mean by that? I mean, we she eat you? What are we talking about? Come on, man! Hey, you bastard! Hey, what the hell, fatty? You're acting like some kind of sleeky dunk drunk dude. Actually, not like there's a good kind of drunk dude. <laughs> hey! Hey, stop squirting around, all of you! Are you still asleep or something? We're prisoners here. We could all just die any second. <sighs> Shit, she's right. We gotta make a stupid jokes right now. We gotta do something or... A flesh cut to the voice. Noise. A directed mantra. I don't even know who that is. You were all just spending a lot of time yelling and carrying on. Hmm? Do you really think you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? Yo! Kyoko! Where the heck have you been? We already started the meeting without you! She didn't say a word. It says she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. Huh? What's this? It appears to be a map of the Hope Peak Academy. Map? What the? Where'd you find this? Well... It doesn't matter why I found it. What the heck? It does matter! You're really freaking us out right now! But more important... Never mind that. Was it me? It would seem... Just look at it. The building we're in right now is laying in precisely the same way as Hopi's Academy. So what you're saying is, this is really Hopi's Academy? It's true. Well, in terms of construction, yes. It also has a number of strange renovations done to it. Renovations? However... I don't know all the details yet, but I found most of the details from the first floor. Um... But then, this is really supposed to be Academy. We didn't get kidnapped or taken to some other place. Huh? So stupid when it's not even possible. This is where the country future's elite supposed to come and learn. But... But this reality is Hope Peak. It really is Hope Peak. Where are all the other students? <sighs> hey, come on, guys. Let's just stop talking about this, you know? Negative stuff. Aren't you worried? Things don't look good. Yo, worried? What's that be a worry about? I mean, with all this planned out, right? The people in charge put those together, right? <laughs> and if I got stressed every time something like this happened, I have ectoplasm chewing out of my mouth. You know? I guess things come to those who wait, right? So we're just gonna chill and everything will work out. <laughs> What's your problem? Why are you laughing? What's so funny? <laughs> I'm just happy that he's all. It seems splitting up and investigate was a good idea after all. <sighs> but you've been listening. Looking around was totally wasted of time. 
We didn't find any find a way out. We didn't find food behind us. We didn't have no idea what's going on. Oh. Huh? It's not crystal clear to you what's going on. Are you okay with this? It is perfectly obvious that we have been imprisoned in some secret, secret location with no way out. None of us had a response to that. We didn't want to accept that reality, but I was staring us right in the face. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to go to say that. I was trying to not to think about it. No way out. We're trapped here. What are we supposed to do? <laughs> That's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. Stop it. Don't even joke about that. Um. Everyone, just come down, please. We need to stop and think about what to do from here. Seems like there's gotta be something we can do. <laughs> we all have got to just adapt. Adapt to living our lives here from now on. That's... Live here? Are you saying we just accept it? Do you understand? A lack of adaptability is a lack of survivability. Survival is not based on who are the strongest or smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. Actually... As someone who will come at the top of more than once, I have a suggestion. What? Huh? What do you mean? Hmm. We've all understand that we've trapped here, which means... Which means we will spend the, spend the night. However, you are in another room regarding night time, right? Night time, but, 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 yeah. Sleeping anywhere in dormitory will be bad. Let's see. So, we're calling this night time. I think we should add a rule to our, of our own. What do you mean? <laughs> Coming out at night time should be prohibited altogether. The school regulations do not actually tell us to go on at night, so I I would like to make it official. Huh? But why? Are you okay with this? The way that things are now, every time the night comes, we will all start to get worried and anxious. <laughs> we will be able to afraid if someone might try to kill us. Huh? What? <laughs> if we want to worry about the night after night, who knows why long? If it weighs us down in no time. I see. So you're suggesting we limit our activity at night as kind of a preventive measure. Indeed. However, unlike the other rules, no one can be forced to comply. We've all had to agree to follow it. What can we do? I see what you mean, but I think I'd agree with that. It's like having a little goth loading a said. Without with something like that, we're just gonna self-destruct. Listen to me! On behalf of all men here, I agree to comply! What? Hey, you could just decide to speak for us. This is fine. So everyone's in agreement? Good. <laughs> then if you will excuse me. Huh? Uh, wait, where are you going? Let's see. It's almost night time. I want to take a shower before it arrives. I hope you are well. So, goodbye. Moving to pure elegance, Celeste left with the dining hall. Her behavior seemed so natural, I couldn't imagine anyone trying to stop her. Um... So this means it's pretty obvious where we're going from here. We'll be spending the night, it looks like. Huh. Adaptability. Hmm. So, Mr. Charman, what's next? One person already left. Mm -hmm. Um, well then, what do we call it today's meeting? You understand? Let's just say, it's almost night time anyway. We can reconv reconvene the first thing tomorrow morning. Huh? We really have to stay the night here? What can we do? We don't have much of a choice. We can't go for long without some sleep. <sighs> so this we have sucks. to just give up. <sighs> That's fine and for good today. What will we do tomorrow? So in the end... Our only option is to split up and look around again. And let everyone know when we find anything. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Aww. The way we're doing that for today? Oh, I'm exhausted. With heavy movements, everyone headed off to their private rooms. Um... Makoto, are we gonna call it for today? Yeah, let's go. Is this really where we stay for the rest of the able future? Ah, oh, that's right. I should probably check the bathroom in my time before I go to bed. Only girls' bathrooms should be locked on them, right? Alright, let's open it up. It's no use. It really is locked. Run! Not locked! Holy crap! Jeez, talk about an overreaction. It's like he just saw a ghost or something. Wah -wah? Like some kind of robot bear? Ghost. What are you doing here? What? My cut on the Aggie. It's a super duper magically bad. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> I keep going to my thinking. Power cord. I keep shoving my monitor off somehow. 
It's fine. It's fine. Ultra magical awful awful attack! Uh-huh. In the point in fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room and it's a problem with the door frame. Wait, so there's a reason why through because it's locked? The doors doesn't fit? Hey! Didn't um... you see the notice? What, you can't read? The bathroom in the boys' room don't have locks. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a lock in the boys' bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? Ba -bum, ba -bum. Well, it's not that pointless, I guess. But I'm ex no expert in the birds and the bees and all that. Listen up! Anyway, there's a little trick in opening, particularly a little for the door. That's what I'm here to teach you. Okay, ready? So you just gotta turn the doorknob and then lift up while you pull. Yes, indeed. Go ahead, give it a try. Turn the knob and lift, lift the door while I pull. Got the door open without a problem. <laughs> See? It opened right up. Isn't that crazy, though? Your door's the only one that doesn't fit quite right. Ah! <laughs> you're supposed to be also like Snuggy student, right? It looks like you're not lucky at all. Bye bye. Anyway, I I feel like being here anymore. Bye. Hey, wait! Damn it. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. An entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay, then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Looks like it's nighttime. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All we could do now is try and get some sleep. While I still was mumbling to myself, I collapsed into my bed. My eyes closed almost immediately. So like I want to ready for bed exactly, I was just utterly exhausted. As if I spent the entire day staring at a TV, watching movies. Or some kind of illusion where I'd be tossed into a made-up fantastical world. <laughs> yeah, that feels about right. It's no use for to accept the situation we've suddenly been dropped into. Really? So this is just how the curtain closed on my first day at Host Peak Academy. Soon enough, I was asleep. It would be too much to hope that when I woke up, I realized it was all a dream. It's kind of a lame as far as ending to go, but I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best. In any normal school, Mr. Manukuma would be a kind teacher. But I was, I was thinking about what's coming up. I just feel with pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all so much. Remember that you're all students of Hunter Peak Academy. We'll strive to refine your ideas. I swear to you, I will send you all off into a new tomorrow. Yeah, I guess. <sighs> I don't know. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Shut up. I didn't ask for your opinion. Apparently it's morning. But thanks to the total lack of windows, there's no way to be sure. Anyway, what should I do now? Maybe I should go find Sayaka. We can figure out what go from here together. She did say she's my assistant now. Okay, it's decided. I'm gonna head to her room. The new find determination, I left my room. All right, what are you doing? Hey, good morning, Makoto. Good, good morning. <laughs> yes, morning greens are quite a delight. Such an energizing way to start the day. You understand? Now then, let's make sure we both know our very best throughout the day. Sure. What if he's always like this? Oh, sorry. There's a doorbell next to the door. I guess I'll just use that. Okay, my first time here, I just had to double take. 
sec, this is Monokuma speaking. <laughs> Hello, Hef, welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well. Hello. Good morning, Sayaka. Hi, Makoto. Perfect timing. Huh? Um, listen, listen. I have a favor to ask. A favor? Um, I'm just getting ready to head out. If it's okay, would you like to come with me? Maybe we could talk. Uh, yeah, sure. Where you headed? Uh, um... I've been thinking about... There might be something around here I can use for self-defense. Self-defense? Um... Well, I mean, whoever's keeping us here would show us an attack at any time. You never know. You trapped us here. You us from rules from murdering each other. You have put us in the same position. She's right. She'll never... We'll never know what I might attack. Um... Hope I'm doing well, though. Why have I asked, by the way? Is he the first playthrough? I won't spoil no matter what your answer is. It's like watching people first playthrough of Danganronpa. No, this is my... This is my third. But it's been a while since I played the played this. Especially, like, while streaming. I won't go for long, because my voice... Because my voice will die. Because <laughs> this is my first time uh, voicing something like this in a long while. <laughs> but I'm trying my best. <laughs> a weapon to protect herself. Well, now that I think about it, that display case in the gym entry had a bunch of stuff. Maybe... <laughs> oh, the gym? Okay, let's go! I can? Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I have amazing intuition. Am I really so easy to predict? Anyway, we should head to the gym. Anyway, hey, to walk around school, we got some good news. You can now teleport to the map. It's as simple as opening the map and you are you going to map it. I don't, I don't, I don't teleport. I just like walking there. Oh, that was something else. Oh my god, the sensitivity is crazy. We good? We good? We good? Okay. Ah, we should just head straight there. Oh, because I keep clicking. Hey, uh. We're good in the gym, right? Okay, <laughs> let's get moving. Okay. My mind automatically went to E. Keep forgetting this is the left click. Toko together with those other two. What a combination. What's your problem? What do you want? You look like you have something to say. No, oh, no, I was just thinking that you three make a pretty unique team. <laughs> Let me make this perfectly clear. Me hang out with the other two have the muscles of their brain should be not by choice. Just a second. Whoa, that was super mean. Hmm. Yes, Steve, you complained how nobody invited you. That's the only reason I asked you to come with us. Hmm. I never asked for you to do that. Stop trying to drag me farther to your meat dimension. <laughs> meat dimension. Hmm. Jeez, I can't believe she just ran off. You think we'd go after her? Wait. We shouldn't pressure her any further. Well... Oh, yeah, good point. I like water and oil. Anyway, it'd be weird if they did it. If they dig it. That's true. So tall. Hey, Makoto. Well, lo look at this. What's up, guys? What are you up to? Yeah. We're picking up where we left off yesterday. I'm really hoping we find something today. If we do, I'll be sure to let everyone know ASAP. Hmm. We have to go find some way out here, no matter what. Um... And that's why you went to Hinoi Toko? However... Well, Hina was the one that fired Toko. I have no trouble talking to people directly. Ah, uh, understandable. Understandable, have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. What do you have to say? Hey, um... Here we go. I might be able to find something to protect myself with. Hmm. I'm sure I found this place where it's a place I can use. Maybe the obvious golden sword? Is this a sword? Oh, no. I think it's just a replica. Still, I think it's pretty impressive. It's covered in gold coating. Gold coal cut covering. <laughs> Sorry. But, jeez, I can barely touch it. I got a good stuff all over my hands. Uh, um. 
Wow, you're right. Your hands are totally gold. It was just self-defense. I think it's a little... All still better than nothing, I guess. Hey, um... You should take him with you. It might help limit up your room a little. You think so? <laughs> I guess you'd be better carry... Careful carrying it back. You should write in a newspaper or something. Just like that. It's been decided. Hmm. I don't see anything I can really use for self-defense. Hey, don't worry about it. It's not like you need any right away, right? Unless anything were to happen. When the time comes, I'll protect you. Huh? You'll protect me? <laughs> Thank you for saying that. You've got me on my side. I guess I don't need a weapon after all. Blech. Shut up. Shut your mouth. That I could giggle as she said that. <laughs> that mysterious smile. I can't tell. I can tell it's from the heart. It makes me feel at ease. When I look at her, I honestly feel like I could do anything. <laughs> okay, we can stop looking for weapons then. But as long as we're here, let's hang out for a bit more. Sure. What do you do? Um. Hmm. I know I said I wanted to talk to you, but now that we're here, I really don't know what to talk about. Sorry. I also want to invite you to come with me, too. I'm sorry. It's okay. I mean, there's nothing to talk about, but we can just talk. Not, not talk, right? Huh? You don't have to force yourself to talk. It's just, I don't know, stare out to space or something. Hmm. Stare out to space? Oh, but you're probably super bored just standing around here doing nothing. Uh, um... It's not that boring, it's just... I... I've never really done it. really done it before. I don't have a lot of time to just do nothing. I guess that makes sense. You're not a normal high school student like me. You got tons of stuff to do every day. Um, what's hey, um, this is kind of out of nowhere, but... Makoto, do you have a dream? <laughs> well, what about you, Makoto, Sayaka? What's your dream? I love to hear. I... I... My dream is... I always wanted to be a star, as long as I can remember. I grew up without a mother, you know. And my dad worked really late every night. I was always home alone. I was just a kid, you know? So I was really lonely. But all that changed when I saw a pop star on TV the first time. She was so pretty, like a princess. And all she, she could sing, dance, and serve ice cream. <laughs> a little scooper she had, but more than anything, she, anything else, that was her smile. Looking at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melting away. I decided that I wanted, wanted to be someday. I wanted to give that kind of courage to others. <laughs> Eventually, that became my dream. That's so amazing, though. You were able to actually fulfill your lifelong dream. Honestly, it's really incredible. I... I did what it took to reach that dream. I even killed somebody. I mean it. Even things are, weren't so pleasant. Huh? You see... I honestly believe that as long as you keep chasing your dreams, someday that they had to come true. Oh god, I don't like the tensions of that. But to do that, you can't keep your eyes off the dream, not even for a second. If, even if something's... Sometimes it's a bad dream. Whether you're awake, whether you're asleep. To make your dreams a reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on it, no matter what. Um... In that world, you lose focus. If you lose focus in a split second, you get left behind. You have to keep swimming against the current without even taking the time to breathe. This is kind of one of my dream limbs, and is it really that tough? Is it not fun at all? Oh no! Oh no! Don't get the idea. It's super fun. But, but that's exactly what scares me. Huh? Uh, um. I enjoy every single day I wake up and get to do what I do. Everyone in our group is amazing. We rivals in our way, but they all mean so much to me. We all been performing together since we were young, so they're all like family to me. Without them, I would have gotten up my dream a long time ago. We work together and fulfill our dreams together. That's brought me so much happiness. But that's why... But that's the thing that scares me the most. If the world gets tired of us, then what happens? What happens to us? Then the dream dies. Those who wonderful days come to an end. And everyone goes their separate ways. Saga. She's trembling. She must be terrified. She works so hard, sacrificed so much, to get she is. She must be terrified of losing it. You see? So that's why I decided to come to Hope's Peak. Huh? 
What do you mean? Uh, um... Well, they say if you graduate from here, success is basically guaranteed. Which means I can keep on performing with my best of friends forever and ever. At least, that's what I thought. I really did believe that, but... Now that we're trapped here, with no way out, they're probably waiting for me. Uh, uh, and while I'm here, the world is there forgetting about me. <laughs> minute by minute, the world is appearing. But still, Sayaka? Why? I can't Why? afford to be stuck in here. That was the first time I heard a cry from a deep within herself. She sounds desperate. I can understand why she feel that way. Trapped here this way, the dream she put so much effort into it on the verge of disappearing forever. That is not some, that isn't something that can be fixed with a few kind words. The weight she's carrying, I can't even imagine it. Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to complain. Uh, um... I kind of killed the moon, huh? No, not at all. Sorry. I'm really sorry. Um, Sayaka. Actually, are you hungry? Before we head back, why don't we go to the dining hall and get some food? So... Okay! Want we make something to eat? I might not look like a bunch of pretty good cook. Wow, really? What's your specialty? Chili oil! You mean the condiment? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding! She bursts out laughing. Her early mood disappears, replaced by a bright smile quickly grown used to. Mm, that seems like a fake smile then. I don't know. I don't know, Makoto. That seems like a fake smile. Not all of it's mysterious, but it, it just comes back. Why did it happen so fast? It's almost like a mask. Like some kind of neutral expression. Roro, Reggie! Anyway, we headed to the dining hall to get some meat before returning to our rooms. By the day. The only thing in my room is a fake sword covered in gold. You're about to display cases, so well, all it does is make me feel not much more uncomfortable. Anyway, there's still plenty of time to look at the day. I really do feel like sitting here. Maybe we'll take a look around. You would have experienced free time. Uh, shut up. Oh, no, I didn't mean to put. No! <laughs> I didn't mean to put absolutely. Uh... We just talked. I don't think we should talk to Sayaka. So let's go talk to somebody else. Juka, no. No, I don't like you. I could just sleep. That is an option I could do. I could just sleep. <laughs> Everyone's working so hard trying to find an exit, are they not? <laughs> Good luck for that. I have no interest in such a manual labor. Kayoko. Doesn't really do that much at the end. But... Why? Why is Hogspeak Academy like this? Very bizarre. Right. See so you know that. Stuck here is like totally disgusting. <sighs> I want to get out of here. Mm -hmm. Ahoy! Remember me? The one and only Fumiyan Yamada. Alright, that's it. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, throat saying it's not my day, apparently. Ugh. Hello? Anybody home? Hey, it's you. Ah. I can't believe how bizarre Host Academy turned out to be. What the heck? It makes me weak. Made me depressed. Sorry, my man. I'm sorry you got depressed. It happens, man. I guess I was supposed to talk to Sayaka, because she's my tutorial girl. Hey. Hey, come on. I can't believe how pissed off I am right now. Stop fucking around. When are they going to let us out of this hellhole? I want to talk to the manager. Jeez, all right. Karen, calm down. Man, really became a freaking... Uh... 
Kara. I guess I should press the door. Button. Um, you know, listen. Makoto. I'm so anxious. I really am afraid. Should I talk to? Uh, yeah. I, I have no. I can't do with anything. One of those fellows. So specialized. Yeah. Are you really going to try to cheer me up? Sorry. Sorry for making time time all day like this. We got three people that say sorry. I did my best to comfort Sayaka. Sayaka and I grew a little closer today. I was like you. Um. Makoto, do you think you can make time for two of us to talk? What's wrong? Why be so formal? I... Well, it's just... I can... I guess... That was kind of formal, but it was just because I know I could count on you. Huh? Having <laughs> I mean, you by my side it makes you feel a lot better. Uh, um. If you weren't here with me, I just don't know what I'd do. I'd be lost. But yeah, what? That's why. I hate that we had meet again in such aw awful conditions, but I'm gonna leave her with me. Sayaka, standing here face to face and hearing her say that, it's nice, but kind of embarrassing at the same time. I know how you feel. You being here is what saved me. Ah! Really? <laughs> Thank you for the flattery. That smile. That mysterious smile that softens my heart. I really wasn't flattering her. That smile saved me. Hmm. But that kind of strange, you know? I never thought I'd get a chance to really talk to you like this. All throughout middle school, you never talked to me. In fact, you never even looked at me. Especially you were like a celebrity. I couldn't just go around staring at you. Wait, how do you know I never looked at you? Hey, um... Because I looked at you all the time. Huh? I... I was always looking for an opportunity to talk to you. You wanted to talk with me. But... But since I always had so many people around me, I, we ended up graduating without even saying a word. That was one of the most... One of my biggest regrets. That's a lie. But why me? Um... Do you remember your first year of high... Your year high? A huge bird wanted to the school pond. Actually, now I think about it. I do so remember something like that. Hmm. It was like a fairy tale. A turtle wants every million years. That bird every one, every thousand. A huge bird wanted to a school pond during our first year of junior high. I think it might have been... Oh, uh, I don't remember. A bird... It had to be a crane, right? I feel that feels like the answer. But I'm not entirely sure about that. <laughs> Hang on. I'm gonna figure this out. Okay, so it is crane. I was right. It was a crane. It just walked into the pond. Okay. That's right. That's what it was. It was so big, the teacher had no idea what to do. <laughs> he led into the forest behind the school. He helped find its way out. Well, I only only because I was already in charge of taking care of the animals at school. They made me do it. You see. I should thank you for the then, but it's okay. Do I do it now? Thank me. I... I'm not Crane, you see. I've come to return the favor. Here, let me make you a cloak. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, I kind of figured. But... Honestly, though, I was so impressed. That's why I always wanted to talk to you. You were just once. Uh, um... I never imagined this would be how I would get my chance. Yeah, if we ever meet again at a train station somewhere downtown, that'd make it a nice dramatic reunion. But instead, it's this weird school. I... Maybe, but still. I'm sure you'll help me find my way out. Just like that crane. You'll save me. You see? It's just intuition, I know, but I still believe it. I'm going to save her? I'll do my best, I promise you that. But I'll make sure it's even more just intuition. I can't speak. If there's anything I can do, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I believe in you. Besides, my intuition always turns out to be right. Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> kidding, kidding. She laughed out loud as she said it. The closer we get, the stronger that smile for her makes me. I was glad to feel that way. 
whatever. Shut up, you straight man. <laughs> Uh, I don't know about that, but what else am I going to do? I'm going to have to make sure This is a school at Satsun, the doors open. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah, whatever, shut up. I heard this enough. Today's already come to an end. I swear. Tomorrow I'm gonna find some kind of clue. I swear. As my eyelids begin to slide closed, the conversation I have with Sayaka that more begin to replay. In a way, it's almost frustrating. Even if I understand her desperation is coming from, I can't share in it. The pressure she's under and the different from anything in a normal high school that can be goes through. She didn't just stumble into school like the way I did. So I can just say the things the way she does. Compared to her, no. Compared to everyone else here, there's no doubt I just don't match up. I guess I might explain my own frustration. Boring. <laughs> anyway. Ahem. So, I'm sure that you've noticed that the killing game has begun, but there's still room for Lula. It seems that I knew a student already so filled with despair still has some hope to escape. <laughs> so will it begin? Mother Hope begin to die? Is it time yet? Is it time? Heart pounding excitement! How pounding excitement! Yay, how pounding. Good morning, everyone! Get ready to- Get ready! Morning has come. What should I do today? I think... How do I leave? No. How do I leave? Uh... I've got to do things. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Uh, I'm gonna leave it off here. My voice is dying. <laughs> but I th thank you everyone so much for coming. It's really appreciated, and I can't believe I reached 100 followers. That was really, uh, that was really neat. But hopefully, I sh maybe it's 50-50 if I will be streaming tomorrow. But thank you everyone so much for watching, and uh, yeah, take care.